Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this video, we're going to discuss uh, creating a mesh from a, a Rhino object, uh, poly surfaces and surfaces, and uh, exporting that specifically as a creating a mesh from that and exporting it to a uh, mesh file format. Uh, specifically, we'll use 3ds to render it. Um, so here's just the the typical Farnsworth house that we went over. Um, these are all solids. Um, you can have surfaces as well, not a big deal. I've added uh, some more kind of curved surfaces, a sphere and a cylinder, just so we can see how the mesh uh, takes those objects. Um, I can export already, but since these are all Rhino objects, I'll say 3D Studio Max, and it'll give me this dialog box, polygon mesh options, to create it into a mesh. Um, so I can kind of preview it a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to just make the mesh itself in Rhino. Uh, mesh from NURBS object is the drop down. And here, let's say, I, oh, I want the, the most polygons because that way when it triangulates the, the curves and the surfaces, um, it'll be kind of the smoothest it'll be and, uh, and it'll look pretty good. So say, okay, and look at all that. Created a mesh with 33,000 points and 32,000 polygons. So when I export that and open it, it's gonna look pretty decent. You can see that this uh, sphere has unholy amount of polygons on it. Same with the uh, uh, cylinder, it looks really, really good. But it's also going to uh, add tons of render time when we want to bounce off all those little surfaces and the file formats, the file is going to be um, a lot larger. So I'll undo that, and let's go a little bit, uh, a little bit less this time. Got mesh from nerves object, and I'm going to just try the least polygons possible. Say so, okay, and I'll move away my Rhino geometry. And wow, the uh, the Farnsworth looks decent because it's all planar, but the cylinder and the sphere really uh, took the toll. Um, they don't look like they should at all. Um, I'm gonna go into the fillet, the radius fillet on our uh, steel piece. And yeah, it's, it's not, looking, not looking too good, but the, the planes look pretty decent because the whole house is pretty, pretty flat. But I still want a little bit more, so I'm gonna undo that and do it once more. I'll probably bump it up uh, three or four dits. Um, preview, and I can see that it's already going to look pretty decent for the cylinder and sphere. And um, I'll zoom in. And you know, I don't need the a really decent radius on here anyway because I'm just not going to render it that close. So it doesn't really matter. And I'll say okay. Um, move my Rhino stuff out of the way, and here's the the full mesh objects. Uh, so looking pretty decent. So I'll select all that and type in export space, and then I can I can do this to any uh, mesh file I want. Um, 3D Studio S we're going to use to to render it to render the project. Um, STL, stereolithography, is for 3D printing, so this is how you'd uh, 3D print it um, be by creating that mesh, so that would be a give and take between how long you want it to take and also how, uh, how fine you want the detail to be. So, select 3D Studio S, say save, and that's it. So, now we'll go and import this into 3ds Max.